Hi guys, I'm back with a lasagna for one. This is the ground meat. I just used ground meat and lasagna. I broke them in half because this is a lasagna for one or two. And the ingredients for the meat is um, garlic, adobo, and sazon and my favorite sopitas the chicken bouillon and you just add that all together and you put it in a frying pan and you just fry it up that's it and this and the lasagna just put a little bit of oil some salt and that's it and from there wait till it's done and I'm gonna show you how to put it together okay guys this is what I did I added some olives because I like olives you don't have to add them if you don't want to and I only used half of the the chicken bouillon because it's really salty so you have to be careful how you use that and it's only like maybe two pounds two pounds of ground meat and eight pieces of lasagna you break it in half okay and then here's oh this is the half I just broke it in half and then what you do is I got the mozzarella seeds I got cheddar cheese I got ricotta and we're just gonna put it together okay so I already put the lasagna in so I'm gonna put some meat in it And just continue that, okay? I'm gonna keep doing this. I forgot to tell you guys that I add spaghetti sauce to the meat. So I added a little bit of spaghetti sauce and the olives. And this is how I'm putting it together. So that's just the lasagna on the bottom and then ricotta and the uh, two cheeses and i'm just going to continue and i'll show you when i'm finished how it's done oh and this is how you make it for one little tiny little aluminum pan perfect i don't have to make a giant pan for everybody it's just me so i'll be right back and i'll show you how it looks um, all together. Look how perfect that fits. Fits perfect just for one. So I'm just going to continue because I just wanted to show you guys that. Okay, now I'm going to put it inside of the oven, 350, and I'm actually going to make another one. So it'll all be, this will all be enough for another little pan for my daughter and um i'll show you when they're done i'll be right back okay this is the second one i made uh it's kind of overloaded because i didn't want to waste anything but i still ended up wasting pasta lasagna um because i didn't need all them pieces all i needed was four because they're actually only one two only like four layers so a half of one so it was like just four so that was just like one two three I just needed four pieces of the lasagna split in half so you live and you learn and I won't waste so much food next time um, but this one is super loaded um, um, I'll show you how it comes out both of them Okay, this is how it came out. Looks beautiful, right? I'm going to put it on a plate and have a taste. Hey, here's my son. He's about to take a bite of the delicious lasagna. We don't have the time because he has to go back to work. Nice and cheesy. Mm. What do you think? Oh, it's good? Mmm. I'll save you half of that. 
when you come back home from work. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, I've cut it in half, the spatula, and I'm gonna put it on the plate, okay? Okay, like I was saying before, I didn't remember how much, but I'm tired of wasting lasagna. Um, all right, so it's just two and two. Because you break them in half and it's four. So you're actually only going to use four pieces of lasagna. Just boil four pieces and you're good with the little aluminum pan. And it's delicious. Look at it. This is the one my son took a piece of. It's good. And this is the one I'm going to eat. All right, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and share the video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye. Oh, um, I forgot to tell y'all. I put it at 350 degrees uh, for like 25 minutes. This was the overloaded one. This was the super loaded. It came out beautiful. And that's it. I guess because it, it's smaller, it cooked faster. So just like 20, 25 minutes in the oven at 350 and you're good to go. Thanks guys. Bye.